Have you ever had the power go out in your house? When the power goes out and the house is dark, what do we do? We look for a light. We want to be near light. Did you know that Jesus said that we are supposed to be a light to people? When you serve others by giving things or doing good things for someone, you are shining the light of Jesus on them. Jesus spent his whole life shining his light to others and we should do the same to the people around us. But what kind of light are we going to shine? There are a few different types of light that we can choose to shine. The first one is like this flashlight. Maestro, lights please. Flashlights produce a beam of light and we get to point that light wherever we want that light to shine. However, we can also choose not to shine that light places. Like if I don't wanna shine a light over there, I just don't point the flashlight that way. When it comes to shining the light of Jesus to the people around us, being a flashlight is like that person who picks and chooses who they shine the light of Jesus to and who they don't. Picking and choosing who we are nice to and who we're not nice to. Picking and choosing who we serve and who we don't. Saying things like, well, I really like him. He's my friend, so of course I'm gonna be kind to him. But that kid over there, he's weird. Everyone makes fun of him. So, so you know what I do too? I'm not gonna shine my light over there. Or sure, yeah, I'll help my friend with, with their problems. They're a Christian, but, but that kid over there, he doesn't even go to church. So I'm just gonna steer clear of her. I'm gonna keep my light going this way. When we look at the life of Jesus, do we ever see him picking and choosing like this? Saying things like, you're healed, you're healed, you're healed. But that guy over there, not feeling it today. Of course not. Jesus shined his light to everyone around him. How can we say things like, this person deserves my help, that person deserves my kindness, but, but not that person over there? We never see Jesus do this, so how could we? The flashlight does put off some light, but if we're following Jesus' example, we shouldn't be picking and choosing, we should be shining the light of Jesus to everyone around us. Kind of like this next type of light, the lantern. The lantern shines light on everything it comes near. Jesus didn't care who they were. He didn't care what they had done, how bad they were, how many times they had sinned. He knew that his light was for everyone. Jesus came not to pick and choose like that flashlight, but he came to seek and save the lost, like Luke 19, 10 says, which the lost was everyone around him. Jesus was a lantern, shining light to everyone around him. We should be a reflection of that light to everyone around us. That's why we say every day, I reflect Jesus to others. Maestro, the lights again. The light of Jesus is for everyone, so we shouldn't pick and choose who we shine the light of Jesus to. We should reflect Jesus to all of the people around us, just like the lantern. Now, there's one other kind of light that we can be like, and it's no good at all. The last kind of light is like this broken bulb. This broken bulb is no help to anyone. It doesn't put off any light. These people are really only thinking about themselves. They only look to get things from other people and never look to shine a light to others by serving or helping anyone. If this is you, you're being selfish. People don't wanna be around someone like this because people are drawn to the light. We're supposed to shine the light of Jesus in our world. So what is your world? Proverbs 3.27 says, do not withhold good from those who need it when you have the ability to help. Your world is where you have the ability to help. Your school, your sports team, your family. Your world is not going out by yourself, helping the homeless, helping adults, or talking to shady people. Jesus wants you to be safe, so don't let the devil guilt trip you into thinking that that's where you need to be. Jesus never held back good from anyone. If he had the ability to help, he did. How could we not follow someone like that? We should thank Jesus and show our love for him by reflecting him to others. If there is a need that you can help someone with, do it. Don't be like the flashlight picking and choosing. Don't be selfish and serve nobody like the broken bulb. Be the lantern. If you see someone needs help with something that you have the ability to help them with, don't hold back. Help them and shine the light of Jesus to them. Not just some people, but like Jesus, be a lantern to everyone around you.